I started out just playing with some uh, periods in my past that were fun to write about. And then I found myself getting seriously interested in telling the story. And so I went on and, and finished it. Uh, I called it an improbable life because, as I say in the introductory chapter, uh, no good bookmaker would have bet that the fatherless adolescent from the Bronx would wind up as president of Columbia University. I guess I'm greedy about my legacy. Uh, it's uh, multifarious. I start with uh, basic matters of, of tone and values, the commitment to free expression. As I say in my book, students have a keen eye for hypocrisy. And so a university that cares about values has to care about living those values in its day-to-day -day work. I think affirmative action is vitally important to universities, uh, in part to uh, provide the benefit of a diverse education to everybody who participates in it, and in part to uh, be sure that we don't have a racially divided society. Uh, I, mean, I, I shouldn't put it that way because to some extent we do. Uh, but the univer universities are the gateway to uh, all kinds of success, and th those successes ought to be open to people of all uh, races and ethnic origins. We started it uh, in the law school back before I was even dean. My predecessor, Bill Warren, supported I was chairman of the admissions committee at that time um, and, and believed in it then. Um, and as president, I continued to believe in it. And I think there is a risk that the Supreme Court uh, may hold it uh, unconstitutional. I had hated the idea that uh, there were no women. We called them girls then at Columbia College when I was a student. And so uh, bringing the college to co-education was obviously a major agenda item for me. When I became dean, uh, there were two very capable administrative assistants whom I made assistant deans. And then later, I was pleased to appoint the first uh, women as deans of journalism, graduate school of arts and sciences, um, law school, the first uh, woman budget director, first woman general counsel. So we livened the place up. One of the chapters I think readers will find interesting is uh, uh, my uh, service as sparring partner to Fritz Mondale, Walter F. Mondale, uh, when he was running for president. Uh, it was a fascinating way to be part of a presidential campaign. And it all derived from the fact that Fritz had been my student uh, at the University of Minnesota, my first teaching job right out of law school. Uh, so when he was running for president and asked me to serve as his uh, uh, sparring partner, I was happy to do it. Uh, although I do remember as I left uh, home here in the city to go down to Washington to spend a couple of weeks uh, on and off with him, uh, saying if, uh, if he really had a chance to win, I'd be nervous. Uh, Reagan was regarded as a shoe in though after the first debate, which common uh, consensus had Fritz winning big time, the numbers got close. Uh, and I, I was just delighted. I think he would have been a terrific president. Columbia and New York are important to each other. Uh, in my inaugural address, I remember saying it's no accident that our full name is Columbia University in the city of New York. And we uh, serve the city and are served by it. So I say we serve the city. Uh, I took and still do take great pride in the fact that we offer the uh, medical services to Harlem Hospital. Those are Columbia students and Columbia residents and interns and Columbia professors serving there. Uh, our graduates are all over the place, public service, private enterprise, law firms, hospitals. Uh, 
Um, and of course, we're a major economic engine. I mean, we have over 10,000 employees. Uh, families come to visit their children in school and spend millions more in hospitals. Um, and then on the other side of the transaction, we are the beneficiary of an amazing cultural scene. Uh, we have some artistic show places on campus, but we've never tried to build a great museum the way Harvard has, for example, because we don't have to. We have great museums within a few miles of us. Uh, and of course, music, theater, dance. And then we exploit the talent in the city uh, absolutely uh, shamelessly. The law faculty will have dozens of lawyers and judges who are at the very top of the profession, teaching part-time, medical school, journalism school, uh, so that it's, it's a wonderful marriage.